This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're at a private screen of Prize Fighter, released this Friday uh, on Amazon Prime. Um, yeah, we're going to go in and watch it in a minute. Uh, a bit of it. You excited about this film, Julius? I am very excited. Um, it's been quite for me. It's been um, quite a long time in the in the making, and even just even though I just have a small part in it, um, seeing how much has gone into the film, how much Matt has put in how much hard work he's put in um to to get to this position now and, and just ready for the for the kind of like it's the premiere on it yeah so it's great it's fantastic you know what I mean? think it'll sell well um well i hope so i hope so you know um it's because it's a great story you know it's not just it's it's, it's a great story and it's true it's a real life um like a, a, a proper biopic and based on based on fact, so I can't see that it wouldn't sell, you know, and uh, and I can't see it's not just selling the film, but it, it's uh, a great story, actually a really great great story. Anyway, so how's life been for you? How you been keeping, Julius? I can't complain. Can't complain. I know um, there has been a few videos of me, or there was a video of me on the internet and um, went viral and all that kind of stuff, which was mad crazy. Um, something that I never wanted to happen, um, in all seriousness, something I never wanted to happen, and, but it went viral and, um, yeah, it, was, it just went crazy. Like, people still, I know it's been more than six weeks, roughly, I think, since, since the incident happened, and... I've had people coming up to me saying that they've seen the video in China, in <laughs> Japan, in Morocco, um, it was on the news, um, obviously all over England and, and um, you know, I, I just find it, I find it fascinating with how things like that go viral and how, how they take off. But one thing I will say, um, I appreciate all the love that I've got from from that you know um people appreciating me and understanding the situation what it was and you know um something that i it, it, at the end of the day couldn't avoid you know so but um in lots of ways i wish it never happened yeah of course but i think a lot of people were relieved including myself that box park backed you in that oh, which is yeah. great to see yeah 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 um um sorry uh, um box park backing you yes, in that yeah. box park backing me and um, all the management and the um, Roger Wade, the CEO, um, putting putting out the statement that he did. It was actually fan fantastic, and, and you know, um, much, much, much appreciated. Really was um, to see that I, I did have the backing of, of those people. You know, it was it was fantastic for me. You know, now, I know you say, of course, in an ideal world, you didn't want that incident no. to happen, but. It did happen, and uh, you've been retired for many years, but I think Deontay Wilder or Tyson Fury would have been happy with that right hand. Oh, you know, um, all right, and I can't say that it was um, something I wanted to do, but, yeah, it kind of landed on the button, um, put the guy out, stopped the situation dead, and, um, yeah, it, it was, like I say, it's something I didn't really want to do, but, you know, I always say to people, the last thing, because people ask me about this, and, and they've, they've said this many, many times before this incident happened, but I always say, I always have said, the last thing that a fighter loses, especially a heavyweight fighter, is his punch. You know, that's the last thing, that's the last thing that we just, we might get fat and we might get old and we might get, you know, we, we lose our fitness and all this, but obviously we do know, because it's, it's, just, it's just there for us, it's kind of... In, in some ways, second nature, you know? Julius, just the final one on this. So for people who don't know exactly what happened, just give a bit, bit of context as to what him and his mates were doing that led to that incident where you knocked him out. Um, well, to, to be honest with you, I wasn't really first involved with the situation, but there was an incident inside the venue um, that just escalated for no real apparent reason. Um, the guy might have been high or whatever, drunk, um, and then just caused a, a real load of trouble inside the venue before it came out. And then the video, what you see outside the venue, is is the kind of um, 
the last minute or so, last two minutes or so of, of what was happening inside the venue for maybe more than five minutes, you know. Um, and, and like I say, I didn't want to, I, I never go to work actually expecting to hit people. And yes, I might have a confrontation, we might have confrontation, we might have incidents, but hitting someone and, and that incident there would be the last thing that I ever want to do. Um, and it's just unfortunate. I mean, it's just unfortunate. I saw some comments from yourself after on TMZ um, that, you know, if Mike Tyson fancies a rematch, <laughs> then uh, you're all for it. Well, they was asking me, they did ask me on, on TMZ if I would, um, if I'd be up for the rematch. But, you know, um, we haven't had no, no, I haven't had nobody come forward to say they put it on. But, yeah, um, if it were to, to come to fruition, yeah, I'd, I'd be more than willing. Maybe Mike saw that punch and thought, nah. <laughs> I don't know, I've seen a couple of videos of him working out and he looked quite good, you know what I mean? So yeah. he, he does look good yeah. for a 50 or 60 year old man, whatever well, he is. He's, he's, well, he's a couple of years younger than me. He's actually a couple of years younger than me. Um, and he's, you know, um, this, is, this is the thing, I think, what people don't understand. Yes, we might lose our fitness and yes, we might lose our punch or, or our, our, our strengths and, and certain things. But we still we still got it out there, you know, when we need to pull it out. And, and obviously Tyson has been a um, stall and, and a, a, a real practitioner for years and years in this game, in the in the fight game. So he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Well, listen, Julius, first time I've actually seen you away from Box Park Wembley, so it's really nice to get to know you a little bit more. I appreciate your time on IFL no TV, problem. and hopefully we'll speak soon, all right? All right, no problem. Thanks a lot. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Day. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.